Hello, and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. Today, I am going to read some PyRefs, put the text on the bottom while I read, so that you can practice reading those PyRefs along with me. This is a great skill to have, especially as an aircraft dispatcher, but also as a pilot, so you can pass on the pilot report information to your crews that you are helping as they are en route. Now, the other thing with the PIREP reading is it can be helpful pre-flight. And also, I am not going to explain all the different parts of the PIREPs. I have a whole video series about that. And you can find that I will link to in the video description. So check that out because it's a series of videos that might be helpful to you as you learn to read PIREPs yourself. Okay, so we'll start with the first one here. It is a Normal priority PIREP over the Chattanooga VOR, 150 degree radial at 10 miles, so to the southeast. At 0332 Zulu, aircraft was at flight at 3,000 feet. It is an Embraer 145 regional jet. They found the tops at 4,800 feet and the base is at 4,000 feet. <clears throat> the temperature they recorded was negative 6, no turbulence. And icing was light mixed icing below 4,500 feet. Okay, now we have <clears throat> an aircraft that is another regular PIREP over the Charlotte VOR at 002 at 16 miles, so basically directly north, 16 miles away, 0354 degree time Zulu. It was at 11,000 feet, is an A320. They reported that the sky was overcast with tops at 10,000. The wind was 240 at 42 knots. And the PIREP was produced by SkyPath, which is a um, system where pilots are able to enter their own PIREPs through a agreement and usually an electronic flight bag and the SkyPath app. Okay, then we have a, a normal PIREP at <clears throat> Tyson. Airport on final approach at 1110 Zulu. It was during its descent. It's a 757-200. They recorded the bases at 2000. And the visibility is four miles with good braking action. So this is one that was likely given an ATC after they landed the aircraft, just to talk about the braking action and the visibility. Okay, then we have one that was... Uh, at on the 028 degree radial at 26 miles off Bozeman VOR, so that would be to the northeast. At 1116 Zulu, it was at 24,000 feet. It's a 717. The bases of the clouds were unknown and the tops were unknown. The turbulence they got was light chop, no, rhyme, no icing for rhyme, no clear icing, and no mixed icing. And this was a PIREP that was given to the flight data center in that area. So it was like given to ATC and then ATC transcribed it, which is probably why ATC put no on all those types of icing. It's a little weird. Okay, then we have a PIREP that was over Donaldson Field Airport, Greenville, South Carolina at 1305 Zulu at 1,400 feet. It was a CRJ 200. And they recorded the sky as overcast 400, visibility one and three quarter mile in light drizzle and mist. Temperature was zero. The wind was from zero to zero at 12 knots. And they recorded the bases were at 400 feet above the ground on final approach. Okay, then we have one on the 292 degree radial off the Hugo VOR. It's in Colorado, 21 miles away. So we're talking about basically north northwest at 0210 zulu it was at 40000 feet it's a 787900 <clears throat> recording light chop and their remark says that there's mountain wave activity they gained plus or minus 10 knots and plus or minus 40 feet and once again it looks like they gave that to denver I'm not really sure what WC is, but they gave that pyre up to ATC who put that in for them. Okay, the last one on here is an aircraft report. It is United Airlines Flight 1726. It reported its position in latitude and longitude, which could be plotted. 
It was at 0206 Zulu. It was at 34,100 feet making this report. The wind was from 297 at 147 knots. They're reporting moderate turbulence. And it appears that they are at 757200. They are over Pordor intersection. And the fact that there's IC before that remark, I believe they're also reporting moderate icing. And I'm not really sure if the turbulence or the icing or both was between flight level 350 or 380, but it seems that they're reporting moderate turbulence or moderate icing between flight level 350 and flight level 380. Thanks for watching Aviation 101 with Laura. Look for more of these because I'm going to keep looking for interesting pilot reports. I've got another one where I practice reading METARs for you guys where you can follow along. And I hope you subscribe for high quality aviation content from Aviation 101 with Laura. Have a great day.